All right, guys, so in today's video, we're going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be showing you the fly first of all. This is the fly that we're going to be tying, and then we are going to take you out fishing with it. So let's get to the video. Right here, you can see this is just an old hook. It's a size number two, and this was just a hook that's been in my tackle box forever. I, as many of you know, I enjoy bass fishing and then crappie fishing and cat fishing, and this is just a hook that was in the tackle box. Couldn't tell you the brand name or the make on it, but that's what it is. We're going to start out like always. We're going to put a little bit of the fingernail polish on there that we've been using. That's that Hard as Nails by Sally Hansen. And then, yeah, I'm trying to show you right here. It's Sally Hansen's Hard as Nails. And then next up, we're just going to be using some white thread. And I do plan on showing you the thread as well. It's that Ultra 210 thread that we've been using in several of the other videos. So we're just going to get the base layer down. Again, we're going to be using some of the material that we found at the flea market from last weekend on this. I'm, I'm going to show you how we cut the pieces of that material at the end of this video because I don't have it in here. Where This is just the fly build. We've got the base layer on now. And then I'm getting the material right now. We're going to use basically a short piece, about three or four inches, to make the tail of this fly. Okay, guys, sorry about that. We had just a little bit of technical difficulties with the focus, but we're back on track now. And essentially all we're going to do is we're just going to get the, the tail tied on and then kind of clean this up. You'll see me cutting that front piece and then we're just going to kind of tidy this up just a little bit. It doesn't have to be real clean because we're going to wrap over that here in a second. And basically what we've done is we've cut two strips of that white faux fur that we found at the flea market last weekend. All right guys, as we continue on, we're going to grab another one of this, those strips and we're going to tie it on and you can, as you can see here, we're going to go ahead and put some more Sally Hansons on this fly to help hold this material. This material is a real loose weave being a faux material. And then after we get started, you really, the only, the only big thing on this is you want to kind of take your time and make sure that you're pulling the fabric and fur in this case. It's just kind of faux, but we're going to call it fur, but it's actually more of a fabric. You can use your toothbrush or, or even use the one of your little tools to kind of pull that back and get it to where it's all, we want it facing backwards. And that's going to give you a little bit of thickness in the body area of this fly. But as we're rotating the vise, we're going to be, like say, stop every now and again and make sure that you're combing or brushing or pulling the fabric back because we it is important we want it to lay nice and level and just kind of keep cleaning it up as we go and again this is faux fabric so if if we go out here and we lose this lure it is not really that big of a deal it's not like it cost us a ton of money this is stuff that we got at the junkyard at the flea market that i showed you in our last video on stuff we scored at the flea market and as you can see we're just kind of getting up here to the front we're just going to tie that on. I am using the thicker, these are some leather scissors that I'm using because I'm not going to, I don't want to mess up my good fly tying scissors with this cheaper material and I'm not sure what kind of material it is, but you could use any kind of scissors. It doesn't, I mean, you don't need leather cutting scissors by no means. And then from here, we're just going to kind of clean the head of this fly up. We're going to go ahead and Use our whip finishing tool and we'll do three or four wraps a couple of times, however you want to do it. I mean, you could do more. I'm just, we're just going to get it tightened down and then go ahead and clip the excess off of your string that you've been using to tie your lure with. And then again, nothing super fancy this is just a toothbrush that we're kind of brushing that all back i kind of want to make it look as nice as we can and i want it all to flow backwards towards that tail that we tied on originally i also wanted to add some color to this lure so we're going to go in here right here 
and we're going to start adding and this is just a regular red magic marker and we're just going to kind of paint the front of that i don't know if it'll help or not but it definitely can't hurt guys to give it a little bit of flash and you can see i got a little bit on the body and i'm actually going to use my thumb and finger and kind of smooth that out a little bit and it will rub a little bit more back on the body some too which kind of gives it a little bit of a red color and then lastly we're just going to paint that color of red with the sally hansons that'll kind of help hold that thread and everything up on the front as you can see i accidentally daubed too much it's like two o'clock in the morning when i'm doing this i'm trying to get ready to go fishing but we'll just kind of clean that eye out and that lure is ready to go so next up we're going to take you fishing okay guys i originally went to the lake and this was early in the morning and again angie went with me so this was more like a mini fishing trip we went out there together and we fished around at lake of the pines for a while i wanted to go down below the dam is where i wanted to throw this fly when we got down below the dam that area was already we got out there later than i wanted to and it was already full of people and i knew there wasn't going to be any way i could throw the fly so we threw the fly a little bit around the lake and then I decided, you know what, we need to go back over to the creek over by my house that I fish pretty regular because it would be a little bit easier and a little more realistic as far as trying to catch something with this fly. So that's what we're going to do next. We're going to show you that. We're going to do our normal 10 cast. And then, guys, I'm here to tell you, I think this fly is going to work. And I'd, I'd love to hear some feedback from you guys. What do you think? Let me know what some of your favorite bass fishing flies are. But I think this will work for the bass. It might be a little bit too big for the crappie and probably definitely way too big for any kind of perch to get a hold of it. But again, guys, I'd love to hear from you. We're going to try to get you out in the kayak soon and we're going to readdress this lure out of the kayak over near some islands on Lake of the Pine. And I really think we'll be able to do well there. But until then, guys, be sure to check out one of our other playlists. We've got a lot of uh, fishing videos. We've got a lot of lure tying and lure making videos. And again, we couldn't be doing this without y'all. We appreciate your likes, comments, and subscribes. If you haven't seen the video, we are giving away a fly tying station that we handmade. I'd love to talk you into watching that video, enter to win on that, and share that with anybody that you know that may be interested in either, either they're already tying flies or they'd like to get into it this is a good way to help somebody else get started in the in the hobby of fly tying by giving them an opportunity to win this fly tying station so again guys we appreciate your likes comments and subscribes may you have a blessed week and let's get outside and make something happen <laughs>